Uh, so we're sitting here in the parlor of the Grand Hotel, and for the last six years that Detroit Public Television has been covering the Mackinac Policy Conference. We've been lucky to be guests of the Grand Hotel and be able to put an anchor desk right here in the parlor and go ahead and cover this conference. And joining me now is Dan Muster III. He's the president of the Grand Hotel and Dan Lepp. He is the CEO of Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan. You see both of these gentlemen, you recognize them. And the reason that we're talking about the Grand Hotel today is that Detroit Public Television is going to be doing an hour-long documentary called Inside Grand Hotel that Blue Cross Blue Shield is supporting. And a of course, Dan, we're going to be talking to you an awful lot about it. This is very exciting. We're very excited about it, and we really appreciate the opportunity, and we appreciate you being here for these last several years, and thank you. Thanks for coming to Mackinac. So when we embark on doing something and telling the story of the Grand Hotel, which is so special and a jewel to Michigan, I want to start off and just get from both of you gentlemen just how much this landmark really means to people when they identify with it with Michigan. Well, you know, it's, you know, as I think through it, and uh, we at Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan are thrilled to be partners with DPTV and, and the and, and Grand Hotel to tell this story. Um, it's Michigan. You know, we're very, very, very fortunate to have a place like Grand Hotel uh, as, as part of our fiber. You know, it's like the coolest thing in the world. And, you know, I think back, to, I think the first time I was here was uh, probably in the 70s with my parents. Uh, and then you think through all the different things that I've participated, gotten to know the Musser family uh, very well, Dan and his, his dad and um, his sisters and, and what they do for this, for the state. It's awesome. And so we're glad to, uh, to be a part of this documentary so we can sort of see how inside how it works. And I think it's, it's interesting, Dan, because so many people feel like, well, I, I, know, I know the Grand Hotel because, I, you know, we see it in the pictures. But to be able to get inside and see really how this, this place works, which is unique, and I, I'm sure you would share with us, unlike anything else that we see around the country. It, it is, but, of course, I've, this has been my life, and so I, uh, maybe I take it for granted. And, uh, you know, I've, I've always said that, uh, yes, we own this facility, but I, I feel like we're more caretakers than anything, because I think it is really the state's, you know, uh, gem, and, and our, our job is just to maintain it and hopefully make it a little better every year and, and, and provide good rooms and good service. But it's unique in a sense <coughs> where uh, a 19th century hotel, uh, how has you been able to continue to improve? but still maintain the integrity of what this building is and, and the specialness of, of what the Grand Hotel is, where maybe other hotels haven't been able to do that as you continue to progress. Well, I think Dan touched on it. Uh, the, our guests enable us to do that. And, and although we're, we're closed more days than we're open, the fact that we have so many lo loyal guests that we, it does give us faith to reinvest every year and, and try to keep the things that are traditional and make this place special, but also hopefully add new things and, and create new uh, you know, excitement about the uh, buzz about the facility and the hotel, and that's which we try to do because of our loyal uh, guest, guest base. So, Dan, why do you think that people, what do you think that they'll find most interesting in terms of when we start to learn about, I mean, how you get so many meals out here every day and, you know, five-star accommodations and just the uniqueness of this, of this property? Most importantly, how can they ever get that pecan ball so frozen? <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that's the big question. But, you know, it, it, it is, um, I think it's, um, we look as a society I think this is a place where you go back in time. It's Americana. And for, for those that enjoy it, and there's a lot of people, it's interesting too, a lot of people from out, I was talking to Dan about it, from out of state that really enjoy, enjoy this place and love coming here. And I think it, you know, it brings out the best of Michigan. And, and I think people um, want to embrace it. I think if you're from Michigan, you love it. If you're not from Michigan, you that you think about that's one of the good things about Michigan too. So Dan, you're going to have to tell us what are some maybe some things you can share with us, unique guests over the years or an, an interesting story or two <laughs> from some of the people who've stayed here, politicians, presidents. Well, I don't, I don't know. know if I'll get into that, but I will <laughs> say that we, you know, we're fortunate to have a wide range of types of guests in conventions and uh, social gatherings. And we have a wide range of staff members with uh, different life experiences and skill sets and 
to be for me to be able to part of both of those worlds is just a remarkable thing and yeah. makes me excited to go to work every day. Okay, so this is going to be an hour long documentary and then a live event with it. And Paul W. Smith from WJR is going to be is going to be voicing this, which is just it's just phenomenal. But uh, you know, I think what's interesting about it is it's um, one of those things that we feel like we know a lot about the Grand Hotel, but to be able to then sit down, see something a little different, and and be able to then share it with other people and say, ah, uh, yeah. This is what we have here in Michigan. I think it's going to be a wonderful thing, Dan. And to your point, that's exactly why we, we, why we got involved. We've had a long-standing relationship with Grand Hotel, uh, our Live Healthy, Live a Grand program here, uh, to remind people to that you can enjoy, sort of enjoy the pleasures of a place like Grand Hotel, but you can also be healthy too. Um, and so we're excited about being telling the story because it's a great, great Michigan story. Um, so this is we're wrapping up uh, the P Mackinac Policy Conference again. This is always um, the place where people want to be and, and good conversations happen. Dan, what is it to have this conference year after year for you here at Grand Hotel? It, it's it's phenomenal. It uh, it it for we pretty much do everything that we possibly can, <laughs> all in a three day period. So it forces us to get up to 110 percent you know speed right away at the beginning of our season and. It's phenomenal for, for us, for the island, and for the whole Straits area. And I can't let you go with talking about a little bit of uh, a little bit of business here in the state of Michigan, Dan, in terms of where you think we are, where we were just even a year ago, um, business climate, and how other CEOs are feeling about, about where we are. I think st strongly. I think the business, and the way I notice it, we have a, obviously a large chunk of, of the healthcare business in Michigan. And what I see is that, that our partners in business continue to grow and that's that's I think continues to be um, a really good sign I think to your question about this conference it's different than anything else really that's done in the country because it forces us as business leaders to be in the same room nice room but in the <laughs> same room for three days where you're actually you're not getting in the car you're not driving home you're not doing this you're not doing that you're here to talk about you know sort of the future of Michigan so I think it's a you know it's a phenomenal place to be all right we'll be looking forward to the documentary inside Grand Hotel March 2017 so it's gonna be great and I'm sure we're gonna be talking with you as the year progresses and as the project progresses Dan Musser thank you so much it's always good to see you thank you for being and here. Dan Lepp Christy, it's good you. to thank see you, you as well